Hello, I'm Simon James Green and this is Sleepover Takeover. Now this is my new uh, middle grade uh, comedy, an hilarious comedy, and it's all about an 11 year old boy called Otis who uh, wakes up the morning after a birthday sleepover at uh, Rocco's house to a scene of absolute carnage and mayhem. Now, you may have had a party before yourself and made a bit of a mess, but trust me, this is nothing to what poor Otis wakes up to that morning. Um, and so, uh, Otis has to team up uh, with Rocco to try and sort all this mayhem and chaos out before Rocco's parents find out and ground him forever. Um, you may have read one of my previous books, Life of Riley, Beginner's Luck, which was my first middle grade uh, comedy. Uh, so if you enjoyed that, uh, Sleepover Takeover is very much in the same vein. Now, my idea for this book uh, came from a few places. Um, first of all, I really wanted to write a story about the sort of kids who never get invited to the cool parties because that is basically who I was and in many ways still am. This is where you have to go Ah, oh, because it's quite sad, right? So this is a book about those sorts of kids. Um, it's also a funny book uh, because I am a great believer in the importance and the power of laughter to make the world a better place. It's also a book about friendship as well because uh, Sleepover uh, contains a cast full of kids who are in the the last kind of months of year six before they go to secondary school um, and they're all kind of a bit scared about that and kind of looking for a, a group of friends to help them through that big move. So what can I tell you about Otis? Well he's a kind of dorky unpopular sort of kid um, who's only really got one friend and that person is Jagger. Uh, Jagger is a trickster loves a practical joke and that makes him quite unpopular with his classmates as well. So Otis and Jagger are basically not welcome at any parties and they only really have each other. But the thing is they're really nice kids, their hearts are in the right place and they really mean well and they would be great friends to other people as well if only they would give them a chance. And that's one of the running themes in this book about how you never quite know um, what people are really like and who they really are unless you give them a chance to show you. Um, so Otis kind of comes from a slightly long line of characters that I write who are underdogs basically, who are doing their best to try and win through um, and really want to make a good go of life but kind of get knocked down a lot at every moment. Uh, but nevertheless they don't give up, they battle on and try and save the day and be heroes if they can. Now, Rocco is the host of the party, and Rocco Rococo, that's his full name, Rocco Rococo, what a great name! Uh, he's a rich kid from a really wealthy family, and his birthday parties are the stuff of legend. Um, pre in previous years, he's been to Disneyland, West End shows with all his friends, and this particular party is going to be amazing uh, because it's in a big marquee in the grounds of his multi-million pound home and everything is there. He's got all sorts of food, you know, hot dogs, pick and mix, sushi, fish and chips, everything you could possibly want, and loads of entertainment like sword swallowers and 10-pin bowling and magicians and singers. It's all going on. It's going to be an absolutely amazing, uh, amazing opportunity. Um, so really extravagant and um, Otis and Jagger originally were not invited to the party, but then mysteriously get invites just the, the day before, which they're not really sure how that happened or why they've been invited, but they go along anyway because it's going to be the party of the year, if not the decade. Um, and that's what it turns out to be, until Otis wakes up the following morning to this scene of complete chaos and devastation I told you about. I am talking a donkey, a real live donkey is drinking at the chocolate fountain, there are doves everywhere, a giant inflatable sausage looms above uh, Otis's head, Rocco has a really unfortunate tattoo on his forehead, and Otis himself is wearing a wedding dress. What's even more weird is that nobody can remember what happened last night. It's like everybody's minds has been wiped. So that's the big question at the heart of this book. What do you think happened 
at the sleepover. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm Simon James Green and Sleepover Takeover is out right now.